people genuinely, uh, they respect somebody who's real and, and organic, and, and I am, and I, you know, I, I won't ever change. I don't know how much longer I'm going to play. I'm going to, I'm going to ride this thing till the wheels fall off the bus. But at the same time, when I go back and look at, at what I did with what I was given, you know, when I, what I say, what I'm given, you know, it is God blesses everybody with some type of talent, and for me. My talent wasn't kicking a football. My talent was working hard. You know, God blessed me with work ethic, and what I've been able to do is find something that I'm passionate about, and that's playing football and kicking a football. And I've poured everything, everything that I have. You know, my time, uh, my effort, my intensity, my passions. I poured it all into that, and and that is what's brought me to where I am now. So I'm going to give this to Steve. What advice would you give a young kid who wants to become a professional athlete? Um, you know, I would say set the long-term goal, and obviously that is become a professional athlete, but I think in order for you to um, reach something that's, that's so lofty of a goal, and we all dreamed of that, you know, when I was a kid throwing the ball in the backyard with my dad, we all wanted to be Odell Beckham Jr., but um, <laughs> you know, I'm not disappointed being Steve Weatherford, but I mean, it would be pretty cool to catch touchdowns, but uh, I played the hand that I was dealt, but I think in order for, for you to reach a lofty goal like that when there was so much space in between, you know, being 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 years old and having a goal like that is to set goals within that goal so okay I'm 12 years old you can't control your height you can't control your weight when I was a freshman in high school I was five foot eight I was 108 pounds I was a shrimp but I dedicated myself to nutrition and, and to fitness and I spent literally every waking hour I could in, in the weight room and on the track running and I gained 117 pounds in high school in four years and never took a steroid in my life and that was, <laughs> listen, I've been testing for 10 years. <laughs> That's the greatest compliment I can get that these young bucks think that I'm on something. <laughs> but, you know, for me, it, it wasn't the lofty goal. It was the day-to-day, -day, and I think the way that you make progress in any industry for any goal is consistency. It's not how hard can you train today. It's... How hard can you train today and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow? And I think once you start stacking those things up, they start to compound interest exponentially on the, on themselves. And, you know, before you know it, you go from 108 pounds to 225 pounds, but it doesn't happen overnight. And it's, and it's about staying consistent, not taking days off, not cheating yourself, because at the end of the day, if you have a goal, you're going to have to continue to invest because the greatest investment that you can make in life is within yourself.